One of the things that I think people are so afraid of cooking at home is overcooking or undercooking. So the probe on the June is really amazing because it's so thin and it's really accurate. Even as a chef, I use it all the time. There's no reason not to. Well, you know, why should I guess? I think that the June can replace multiple pieces of equipment in your home. The pieces of equipment that I'm trying desperately, I don't want my kids using is I don't really like them using microwaves that much. And so they don't use that really at all anymore. The funniest thing is I taught them how to heat pizza. And so we put a stone in the oven and put it under broil and then the stone gets really hot and then they throw their pizza in and in like two minutes it's reheated and crispy again. Cooking in my June oven has been amazing. Since I've gotten the oven, it's gone in phases, and it's basically gone in phases with kind of cooking techniques. But it really started with broiling. People are afraid to use the broiler in their ovens. The June oven is extraordinarily consistent because of the size of it and the, rate and the radiant heat that's in it. So you get an amazing caramelization on a product before you overcook it. Let's say you're searing a steak, right? You can set the June oven to where it'll broil the steak and then it turns into a convection oven and bakes it until it gets to 100 degrees internally, and then it gives you a notification. My wife, Diane, she uses her big oven now, maybe once a month, and she uses the June oven probably two, three times a day. You'll use it so much that it might actually change your vision of what else you need in your kitchen. The fact that you can steam in it, the fact that you can set it in a way where it starts cooking at one temperature and then drops down automatically. And then the best of all, the fact that, you know, you can watch a football game and look at your food at the same time. <laughs>